Now, one of my favourite characters in The Walking Dead is Shane Walsh, which it may be controversial to many people and many fans of The Walking Dead universe. He is up there in my top five, possibly top three favourite characters of The Walking Dead. And that probably comes as a surprise to a lot of people, um, and a lot of fans, because I know people don't like him very much. And that's what this video is about, is why Shane Walsh was massive, massively hated on The Walking Dead. Now, I just want to get into it that this isn't my opinion. I made the same video about Laurie as well. That video wasn't about my opinion. That's about a collective of The Walking Dead universe, what I feel and what I've gathered, the information I've gathered over time uh, about how The Walking Dead universe feels, about how the fans feel about these characters. So these aren't based on my opinion. I personally did like Laurie, though her, I do agree with what people say about the actions she made in The Walking Dead universe, some of the stuff she did you know, wasn't um, a lot of things you can agree with what she did and can understand why people didn't like her very much. But as a, you know, there's no character I hate in the Walking Dead universe and I don't hate the actors or actresses at all. By any means, I don't hate them at all. Um, so I know a lot of people do and that's their opinion. They can feel how they want to feel about these characters, but the actors don't deserve any hate at all because they've, you know, they get paid to pay a character. Um... But yeah, this video is going to be about the the reasons I think uh, and is, you know, why people don't like Shane as a character, um, especially when the show first started. You know, he season one, he was a he was a good character. People liked it. But season two is where it changed for everyone. And I think people watching The Walking Dead now, you know, these days, uh, rather than when we used to watch it back when it first started, people now have, you know, can just watch it continuously and when back then you had to wait um and now it's easy for people to have a quicker opinion um than it was back then obviously because you had to wait for it to come out but yeah Shane Walsh was a character that many people these days don't like I see a lot of people ranking him so you know it's it's a, it's a mix for Shane as a character because some people rank him very highly on their list and some people just rank him so low that he, he, he might as well not be on the list of their rankings so there are a few reasons why people don't like him and I can agree why with them why they don't like him because th the stuff Shane did I can't back or agree with him for what he did in season two you know he he did a lot you know especially at the end of season one as well as with Laurie his obsession with Laurie ruined him as a character and I think if he never liked Laurie in The Walking Dead and had feelings for her then his character could have gone with on with Daryl and Rick towards the end I think that trio would have been awesome to see. Um, but unfortunately, Laurie got in the way of, you know, I guess Shane's development and his growth as a character in the Walking Dead universe. Uh, but it was always going to happen, obviously, because it happens in the comics and it's just a part of Shane's story. But, you know, if it didn't happen, Shane could have been such, such, such an amazing character. Um, and yeah, you know, him having that obsession with Laurie, I guess, could be a reason why. But it's just the actions he did because of that, you know, killing Otis when he didn't really need need to do that. They probably could have both gotten away. Um, I don't think those walkers would have caught up to them. I do think they would have got, got away. But obviously Shane was going insane. And that was the start of when that happening of, you know, saving Carl to get the stuff he needed. Um, and obviously when he shaved his head as well, he had to because uh, Otis pulled a bit of it out. So he had to shave his head, uh, his hair, so then people wouldn't be suspicious and notice that happened. But yeah, that is w one reason some of the stuff Shane did, you know, the actions he did with, um, you know, killing Otis and also killing Randall as well. The two main kills that he had and just, you know, his attitude as well. I can see why people don't like him because of that. His attitude towards people in the camp in The Walking Dead season one, mainly season two, um, with Dale mainly. You know, he's very aggressive, um, but I just think that's his mentality. You know, he was so, he was far further ahead of uh, people, uh, other survivors that were in the group. Um, he had, I guess, the season seven mentality that the mentality Rick had um, in season seven, season five, you know, what all of our characters had in later seasons. Um, and Shane had that from the start, and I think Shane definitely was built for the world that they were living in, but obviously the people that he was with weren't, you know, they were still getting used to it, and they were surprised by how Shane adapted to it so quickly, and how he changed so much, and how he, I guess, went too far, 
um, he was too far gone, you know, with, within the, the apocalypse and he changed because of it. Um, he would have survived till the end and beyond, I think, because he was a very cool character and he was definitely had the capabilities to survive. But because of his insanity and how far he went because of it, you know, he had to be killed. He had to die because of, you know, how much he changed. Um, but yeah, I think that's one main reason, though, is his attitude in the Walking Dead universe, how he changed mentally. Um, and it was different. It was it was a lot to take in for the other, other characters because they weren't used to it. They weren't used to the new world they were living in, and Shane was. And people didn't like that because of the things he had to do. Uh, you know, even on Herschel's farm, killing the walkers that Herschel was keeping, and Rick was going along with it. But, you know, if Rick did that and found that out in earlier later seasons, he wouldn't have done that at all. You know, we, he would have done what Shane did. Uh, Shane was a lot smarter, I think, earlier on. Um, and I think that's why, uh, obviously, he was killed, you know. He was too far advanced within the, the zombie apocalypse and the Walking Dead universe that he had to be killed because of... He wasn't only just harming, uh, keeping people safe, but he was also a danger to the people as well. Um, I think if he left the group, though, that could have been awesome to see with Andrea. I think him coming back in later seasons would have been very cool to see. Um, but yeah, obviously we weren't going to get that. Um, but also Shane did try to um, assault Laurie um, at the end of season one of The Walking Dead. Uh, which is obvious reason why people don't like him, and I can obviously completely understand that. Um, his obsession with Laurie was definitely a downfall for him. I like I explained, um, but yeah, he was just everything that he's he's done in the Walking Dead universe has has had a toll on other other characters, and his attitude and actions he did also were a reason why, like I said, his attitude was mainly a reason why people didn't like him and why fans started to turn on him, I guess you could say. But also his, I don't know, I guess his thing with Rick as well, you know, they were best friends. You could see that they had a close relationship um, and they always did from from when they were young. But, you know, Laurie got in the way of that and Shane just didn't think Rick was built for that world. And, you know, Rick didn't... Rick started to change a lot later seasons, I would say, season three. And after he Shane was killed by Rick, that's when Rick truly started to change. You know, he, that's when he, I think, truly started to adapt to this world and knew what he had to do to keep Laurie and Kyle safe and alive, and obviously Judith when she was born. Um, but yeah, I I can completely understand uh, people's hate, I guess, why people don't like Shane very much. Um, I think he was a very cool character, and I think he was written perfectly uh, for The Walking Dead, I love John Bernthal as well. I think he's an incredible actor. And yeah, I can... But like I just said, I can understand why people don't like him because of the attitude he had at the start of The Walking Dead and how he went around things, you know, the, the things that he did, uh, you know, to Randall, even though Randall wasn't a very good person and the group, he was still a young kid that, you know, Shane just snapped his neck just like that. And Otis was, you know, he was very apologetic for what he did and he he had a lot of remorse for what he did to Carl by accident, obviously, when he shot the deer. He didn't mean to to shoot Carl, but obviously Shane was losing it. So he, you know, left Otis to die so he could get back and save Carl and that's what Shane thought was right and what he had to do. But obviously that wasn't the right thing to do. And I can understand why people do not like him. I think there's a lot of things that he did in The Walking Dead that... A lot of fans have the right to not like him, but personally, in my opinion, I think that he was a very well-written character. John Burnfield played the character absolutely incredibly and uh, amazingly well. Um, and obviously, we don't have Shane anymore. So, um, like I said, these characters don't deserve hatred. Well, maybe the characters, but the, the people playing, you know, the actors playing them don't deserve hate at all. You know, they're being paid, they're hired to play a role. They don't deserve hate. Um, but in my personal opinion, I do like Shane. I know a lot of fans don't. I did make a video quite a while ago, about maybe over a year ago now, about sh the original plan for Shane's death. And I, I read the comments and a lot of people do not like him. You know, a lot of those comments, are, a majority of those comments are, you know, hatred towards Shane and how I supposedly um, am a Shane simp and stuff like that. But you know, he's, I just like him as a character. I just think he was very well written. I think he's a cool character at the start. But I can agree 
on the thing the things he did were bad and they were horrible and i can agree why people don't like him uh but yeah this is just a video i wanted to make i will make more about other characters about why they were massively hated in the walking dead universe um so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one